All right, guys, my kitty's litter box finally got the eviction notice. So I took everything out of this area, vacuumed and steam mopped the whole thing. And under here, I had to shift some stuff over here. Um, and then they are so still so tiny. I had to put something here for them to like get on to go through this door. But so they go through here and they have this little tunnel in the cupboard and it goes out through that kitty door. You can't see it from here because it's behind, it's behind these shelves. So a little tunnel in there and they're in there. Look, I can see one looking out his window. They have little windows. And then a few minutes ago, I looked in and this, hold on, there's a weed there. This window is where the litter box is and I, I could see them in it. So they were in their litter box and then over here they have some room to play. Let's see if I can. So I'm gonna open it. I'm, I can't, I have to hope they don't jump out. I just want to take a little peek. There they are in their litter box. And then that's where they go back in the house. Bye guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Jill with At Home with Jill. And please don't judge me, but my shower is disgusting. Okay, so I am taking care of that today because this is one job that is always um, like out of sight, out of mind. Every time I take a shower, I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to clean my shower. And then as soon as I'm done showering, the thought never comes back to me. You know what I mean? Um, so anyway, and yes, that sign fell. Part of it fell, but that's okay. I'm showing you how disgusting my shower is. This is very um, embarrassing, and I'm being very vulnerable showing this to you guys. So please be kind in the comments. I don't need anyone's advice or anyone's comments asking me how the heck does it get like this. It just does, okay? It just it just does. Anyway, um. Also, we have to keep a dehumidifier in our shower, in our bathroom because we have no fan in our bathroom and so moisture just collects in there and mold grows and it's just a really huge pain. Um, so I'm throwing in the bathroom or the bath mat and the shower curtain um, with some bleach to get that nice and clean and then I'm filling up a mop bucket with water, bleach, and Tide. I use powdered Tide laundry detergent um, to make like a cleaner. I sometimes use this to like clean walls and cupboards and I use it for the shower, um, bathroom floor sometimes. I don't know, I just love it, okay? Something in the Tide is like a, it like neutralizes stuff, I don't know. Anyway, I learned it from a cleaning Instagram account and I just love doing it. So anyway, I'm using this VacLife electric scrubber. I got this about a year ago and um, I lost the charger for a while, but I ended up finding the charger and I was so excited. I was almost going to order a new electric scrubber, but I found the charger. So I was really excited to get to use that. So it is really hard for me to film in this shower because of the layout of this bathroom and everything um so I took my phone and got some of this footage with my phone but I wanted to show you like I wanted you guys to see like a real accurate like before um footage of this shower it was so bad so bad but anyway um I had planned on doing my whole bathroom this day so I was gonna do the shower 
and then the counter and everything and and sink and then I had planned on like using this scrub brush on the baseboards and the edges of the floor and mopping really well and everything and using it on the toilet and stuff. Um, I ended up not having time and the reason why is because my kids brought to my attention that moving the litter box at my kitten's young age was actually a huge mistake because we found they found where the cats had been peeing and pooping and yeah they weren't using the litter box anymore after I moved it out into the little outdoor area so after I cleaned the shower and the vanity I ended up stopping that whole project to clean up cat poop and pee in various places and it also caused a little um, spontaneous unplanned decluttering session because there was poop and pee on several card games and dice and board games and stuff like that so yeah also in my box of scrap fabric so that was really awesome not really but yeah so I um, got rid of all the cat poop and pee everywhere and ended up like putting their litter box back in the house but I put it in a better spot and I put it or I I like dumped out the pine pellets and just put their normal litter in there for now um, I'm gonna transition them to the pine pellets a little more slowly and I'm gonna wait a couple months to put their litter box back out side and before I do it I'm gonna put it in the little cupboard first so I'll take out like the shelves and everything out of that cupboard and I'll just have the litter box in the cupboard and then after like a couple months of it being in there then I'll move it out that way it's like a long slow drawn out process to get the kitty litter outside that way it's not just a shock to them and they're like what the heck why are you moving things lady now we're gonna poop in your house so anyway all that being said I did not have time to finish deep cleaning the bathroom so I just made this video random it's just shower and counter sink and then the litter box stuff um, and this day we were trying to get out of the house to go and have a slumber party with my sister and all her kids down at her mother-in-law's house and so anyway we were just trying to get out of the house I was doing all this cleaning stuff while my kids were finishing up their schoolwork. It was our last day of school before winter break, so they knew as soon as they got their schoolwork done, we were going to be getting ready and packing to leave to go have that slumber party. So, anyway, and now today is the day that I got back from the slumber party. It's at night. I'm really tired. Um, I was up till 1.30 or later last night, um, 1.30 in the morning, just playing card games and watching movies with my nieces and nephews, and the kids had an absolute blast um, sleeping over with their cousins, and I had fun with my sister and stuff. It was just, it was awesome. So, yeah. So anyway, now I am out here getting the litter <laughs> dumped out <laughs> so I can bring it back in and put it in a good spot but you guys will see I I actually really like um, how I did it now I was able to put it like all the way underneath the desk in that office area um, so that it's not like out in the open it's real tucked away and not noticeable or anything um, but it's also in an easy location for me to like clean it out every day and stuff too so oh also, I ordered this nifty pooper scooper on Amazon that, like, bags attach to it, and it has, like, this chute. So, like, you scoop it and lift it up, and the poop falls into a bag. Super cool. I will link it in my description box for you guys, but it's, like, a $20 pooper scooper, but, I mean, I'm excited about it. So, <laughs> any of you, some of you cat lovers might be excited about it, too, but... Anyway, so now I'm just under here, you know, cleaning up poop 
and pee and yeah it was quite disgusting they pooped on these decorations I had under here um, that I was gonna find a good spot for in my house to hang up back on the walls but just decided yeah I'm throwing those away I had to throw away a lot of stuff but you know it happens sometimes life gives you lemons and sometimes life gives you cat poop and pee and you just gotta make the best of it <laughs> um anyway so I am just cleaning all this up putting the new litter in and putting it all back here and yeah and then I got the kitties and put them in the litter box so that they knew it was back in here so they would not go and cause another accident while I was cleaning up the current accidents. So, and I'm happy to say that after a whole day, like a whole 24 hours, actually like 48 hours, there has been no more poop and pee out of the litter box. So, yay! All right, so now that I've got that situated, I have to show you guys what else the kids found. This is a little bin of um, puzzle pieces, and it has pee and poop, okay? Okay, so there's that, and then there's definitely poop on this bag, like they tracked it on here, okay? So that's a game that's getting thrown away, and then I'll be able to just wipe that up. But over here, this is our Uno, our Yahtzee some random game pieces and that's like poop oh! so I'm just throwing that whole thing away that's poop and pee actually yeah so I'm just throwing this whole bin away watch out please Cade so anyway oh and yeah that's pee that's definitely pee hopefully it's not on this box but Definitely pee right there. So I have to clean that out as well. <sighs> All right. All right, so I did have to throw this game away. This is one of our favorite games ever. Um, there is poop stuck on the box. Um, okay, so I cleaned out that cupboard. So that is all good. That's all nice and ready for them when they wake up. They are just, let me show you. They are just sleeping like little babies, knowing ah, we pooped in the game cupboard. Now we can get a great sleep in. Also, I have to show you guys where else I found poop. This is under my bed. Poop and poop. So that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna clean that up. I'm not gonna film it because it's in a very awkward spot. Um, but yeah. Before the scrub brush and after. So just a little reminder of what my shower looked like after I scrubbed it. It's so much better. Although it's bothering me that I dropped a little chunk of soap on the left on the bottom and I didn't notice until afterwards. I did clean that up, but it's bothering me that it's in the video. Um, anyway, look how much better this looks. I am going to put a little before clip here just to remind you what the before looked like. Also, those are shadows, so it looks like it's not all the way clean, but it is. It's just shadows. And one more before clip because, ew. <laughs> Alrighty guys, I forgot to close out this video, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. If you're new to my channel, make sure you subscribe. If you like this kind of content, cleaning, decluttering, um, I'm a homeschool mama, I have four kids, and yeah, if you like this type of content, make sure you give me a follow and 
Um, I will link some things down below. I can't remember what else I talked about. I know the pooper scooper. I was going to link. That was probably it. Um, oh, I'll link the electric scrub brush that I used. And, yeah. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.